Hello FIFA faithful, Bearhamps here, and welcome to episode 8 of You Squad Gods with Bayern Munich 2. Yes, welcome back. Face cam is back to its normal spot in the right hand corner. And before we get into any gameplay, let's talk about how we did off camera. So we had a game against Hallisher, drew that 1-1, and then in the month of September, went on a bit of a tear. We beat Braunschweig by a score of 2-0, excuse me, Braunschweig. 2 to nil, and then Duisburg beat them 2 to 1, and then Prussian Munster we beat them 3 to 2. And then I did want to play the Munich Derby against 1860 Munich, but something happened that I will discuss later as we did beat them 3 0. There was a hat trick by uh, Simone Gori, and then in the game against Carl Zeissiani, he scored two goals. So our Italian striker is on a bit of a tear at this moment. So yes, the reason why I did not play the Munich Derby was for this reason, and it comes in the form of Thomas Henry. So Thomas Henry, a guy that we got from the academy, thought he had some decent chance of becoming a starter later on in this save, but he was pissed that he wasn't the starting right back anymore, even though I was starting him at right mid and sometimes at CDM. He was like, no, I want out of here. I'm so much better than Bayern Munich. And I was like, all right, fine. We're shipping you to Mexico. So once January 1st hits, he will be joining FC Juarez. Yeah, so good riddance, Thomas Henry. The reason why I play the 1860 Munich game as well as the Carl Zeiss Siena game was because there has been some glitches and bugs and whatnot to where if a player asks to leave, they get sold, and then you get fired immediately. And I was panicking like no 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 this is not how this series is going to end we are not going to have this type of hijinks even though i know i started this save when all the bugs were intact so good thing is we've gone a couple weeks federico aguilar has been sacked and yeah things are going smoothly here at the grunwalder stadion first game of the episode we take on karlsruhe at a very rainy grunwalder stadion this will be the first time I play with the new patch, just downloaded it this morning, and from what I've heard, it's a lot harder than the last patch, and apparently, according to Long Live Pat Back, he's starting to get a lot more red cards, so I'm very intrigued as to how this episode will fare. There's a through ball, great squishing ability by uh, Campanucci and uh, Tristan Dia. Now here is Vera, Vera. Oh, bur beautiful run by Uruga. Uruga is past all of his defenders. Maybe he has a chance here to score. If he could play it right. Yes, he does. Perfect. Bart Uruga starts the scoring for Bayern Munich in the first 15 minutes. Great passing from Santi Vera. Again, I think Santi Vera, the best uh, acquisition we made during the summer transfer window. And I have to say, all three of the transfer window signings we have have done a pretty good job as Cayusa got that clean sheet against Hollisher. I had to think who we played in the first round of the Deutsche Pokal. He had a great clean sheet. Tristan Dia is making some uh, buzz at the right back spot. And now Santi Vera with a great assist to Bart Uruga. So maybe we gave them another chance. Here's Vanasek. Looking to get a cross in which he will. Cleared out by the knee of Vera. And that, no, they're going to give him another chance. Nope, never mind, they won't. So that will be the end of the first half. Good start. Do get an early goal from Bart Uriga. As now we're looking to continue our undefeated streak in the league. Cross the box. Campanucci. Oh, cleared out, cleared out, cleared out. Great save. Finn Stierlin. Way to step up and just use all of your body on that one. As Froda, wide open, point blank shot. Just skids it off the hands of our German keeper. Vera's going to find Chochev. Chochev, he's running. He'll have to cut back, though. He'll find Dia. Dia to Dudzinski. Turns, finds Gori. Gori finds Uriga. Uriga! Oh, so close. Bart Uriga could have had himself a brace. Karlsruhe continuing to try to get something going here. They do have a couple more ticks left if they can get it into our zone. And maybe have one chance at a cross, but it looks like our defense is just pulling all the strings here, as that will be the end of it, and we do get three points. 
For the second game of the episode, we look to continue our form in the Deutsche Pokal as we take on Hansa Rostock. Again, it's nice to see all of our backups getting a start. As you see, Thomas Henry, the uh, soon-to-be-departed Thomas Henry. Again, that was so annoying. He was like, I'm too good for this team. Then, like, all right, fine, we're shipping you to Mexico. Oh, what a tackle by Henry. Henry's just going to take it for himself since Foray didn't make the right run. He's going to get a cross in the box, but ah, that was a terrible cross. Wow, he really wrecked that dude. Through ball, easy play for Albrecht. Ah, poor pass. Maybe a chance now for Hansa Rostock. Oh, that's a good through ball. Yep. Yep, Brown Duwani gets beat. And uh, that's the last thing we wanted. We'll keep the ball now. Henry. Henry, keep it. There we go. Henry still has it. Henry's going to run in the box. He can do it. Henry takes a shot and he scores. He goes near post. And just before halftime, the man who's going to find himself south of the U.S. border gets us the equalizing goal. Does it all by himself, too. Just the determination. Flips it near post. That's a terrible play by their goalkeeper, by the way. The amount of room he had to shoot was like that much, and somehow it got through. For the second half, I made three subs. Uh, we have Simon Gori and the dude, Mateusz Dudzinski, back in at striker and cam. And then I took out Danielle Branduani and put in uh, Roman Gill. He's looking to find a chance for a shot. Great block by Ortiz. And Ortiz trying to get past the pressure, which he will. And we might have a chance here to get something going. He's going to try to rifle one up to Gori. Gori with the ball and some space. He's going to use it. Here we go. Simon Gori cut. Takes the shot. Oh, man. Yeah, he should have finished that one all right. Again, he just got on. Probably not fresh. But uh, come on, Simon. Maybe a chance for a through ball. Great pass. Henry is on side. Henry cuts it. Finds Gory. Gory finishes it. And that will hopefully finish the game. As in the 78th minute, it is Simon Gory, who did have a couple miscues before this goal. We'll put it home. Maybe punch us a ticket to that third round. Alshvita tries to get across through, but a great tackle by Bauman. And that will do it. We are off to the third round of the DFP Pokal. Aguilera, happy as ever even though he did lose about a foot of height. Gets goals from uh, Tom Henry and Simon Gori. Yeah, he was player of the game. And I have to say, even though he is leaving to Mexico in a couple months, he's still playing inspired, which is top-notch in my books. For the final game of the episode, it's Halloween at the Hanch Arena as we take on Mepin. If we do win this game, it means that throughout the months of July, August, September, and October, we haven't lost a single game. And you might be wondering, maybe it's time to bring up the sliders. And I'm thinking, maybe not this year, but I think if we do get promoted next year to Bundesliga 2, then yes, I will tinker with the sliders. Give me a chance here now. Oh my gosh, there's an ing. Is that the same ing? Hold on, let's take a quick peek. <laughs> that's amazing. Parrying has gone to third tier German football. Yeah, that's amazing. But nope, we won't have that time. So that will be the end of the first half. Nothing of note. Just been kind of sloppy. Just like two turkeys going at it. I'm going to break the deadlock here. I think I might switch around Ortiz and Dudzinski. Because, again, I just think Dudzinski's better at the cam roll. Maybe in the future, where Dudzinski just can't keep up with the league, we'll, we'll move Ortiz to that cam roll permanently. Oh, good pass, Ortiz. Ortiz cuts back. Trying to hold. Oh, he gets tripped up, and that will be a penalty. That's what happens when you just toss a guy like that. So in the 51st minute, it will be Simone Gori. We'll sit at the uh, penalty kicking spot. Takes it, shoots, scores. Perfect goal from Simon Gori, adding to his league leading total. Calm as you like. Got the lead. 
Oh, slip that through. Perfect pass. Dudzinski. Cuts. Oh, my. Oh, what a play. What a play by the dude. That is some dirty dangles if I ever saw him. Great way to finish off Meppen with some absolutely skilled footwork. And again, the dude only has two star skill moves. Ooh, Nelly just dances right past him, goes near post. We've won our third game, hopefully. Don't want to jinx it. Oh, good interception by Gory. This might open something up. Here's Dia. Dia, can he finish it? No! Just to the side. Great interception by our Italian striker. Finds Dia, but just can't finish his dinner. Once again, another victory for Bayern Munich 2 as we are just rocketing up the Bundesliga 3 table. As, oh, wow, I've finally seen a, a manager with just a plain white t-shirt. To finish off the episode, we have a couple things to discuss, and one of them is the team that we will be facing in the round of 16 of the Deutsche Pokal, and it is FC Cologne. It is a home match as well, so I think maybe if we can you know, put everything together, we might find ourselves in the quarterfinals. And because there are only three games in the month of November, I'm going to live sim every single one of them. So we'll start off with a game against Versberg. For this game, we have our starters in, and it is a draw. It is Gory with a goal. And then just 14 minutes later, it is Bauman, the other Bauman, not our Yannick Bauman, that gets the equalizer. Second match, we are away at Kaiserslautern, and we get another victory. It is Simon Gory and Niklas Schwaba scoring for us. See, wow, even when we simulate, we have good luck. Final simulated game against Victoria Cologne, and once again, another victory. As Gori didn't miss a penalty, we'll talk about him later, but we do get a goal from Vera, and throughout July, August, September, October, and November, we haven't lost a single game. Although Simone Gori leads the league with 16 goals and 16 appearances, what we will be doing is trying to give him more competition since there's been many games where he's missed a lot of quality chances and his finishing just hasn't been up to snuff. So what we'll be doing is we'll be pulling from the academy as we do have one decent prospect in Igor Saric, the Serbian, already six foot two, like his height, like his physicality. Not much for finishing, but we'll work on that. And also, we will be trying to get some more strikers in the January transfer window. Just, again, we want them to be the best since, in time, we are going to become the manager of Bayern Munich, the senior team, and we do want Simon Gori, amongst others, in that group. So any training now, any iron sharpening iron now, will help them in the future. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.